just from past experience anywhere you've ever been as, as a high school football coach, I mean, one of your top priorities is equipment. I mean, that's the most expensive thing that you've got. The neatest thing for me with this here was where we were before we were in portals for the last two years. And so a lot of stuff was on the ground, you know, which had to hang stuff up. Our uniforms were in bags. Um, and so, you know, it's just what you had to do. Um, but then, you know, once we've got this system, I mean, it's, it's been unbelievable. And it's crazy just the amount of space that you save that you don't even realize, um, whether it be from uniforms to accessories to helmets to whatever cleats. Um, tennis shoes, um, equipment, whatever it may be. Um, the amount of stuff that we can get in this square footage uh, is crazy. That was a big part of it, you know, with our athletic director, you know, Adam Lindsay, and the vision that he had is we know that our program is going to continue to grow. We expect it to grow. You know, with the growth of, of players and student athletes comes growth of equipment, you know, and now needing more space and so I think the amount of space that we were able to create by the design that was made by you guys um, was you know second to none and it allows us a chance to grow uh, and at the same time be able to keep everything inventory keep everything safe keep everything protected um, and so that way when it's ready to break it out again we're ready to go I'm proud that you know Everybody likes to talk about the new weight room and the new locker room and you know the coaches' offices and things like that. But for me, this room houses everything that allows your program to be successful on a practice or a Friday night because this is the room where you know the uniforms are. You know, this is where you represent yourself, represent your community when you go on the road, you know, or whether you're playing at home, you know, it's it's the red jerseys, it's the white jerseys, you know, it's the white helmet, the new red helmet. You know, it's how do we able to preserve those things but also have them in a spot to where we can facilitate them, show them off, protect them, and then allow people to come in here to look and see, you know, what we do have, because we are proud of it. I mean, that's why it's part of the tours, because we think it's impressive. And the work and the layout and the design, I mean, there's been nobody that's walked through that door and hadn't walked in here and went, wow. You know, and so that's what it's all about. You know, the way everything is set up, uh, and then us being able to kind of set it up how we want, whether it's uniforms, you know, whether it's there's a section for, for, for cleats, for workout shoes, for workout apparel, um, you know, whether it's pants, uniforms, socks, um, and then helmets. Um, and so I think it's just unique the, the way it's laid out and the way it's set up that it allows us a chance to kind of make sure we've got everything where we want it to be and we can keep up with it. And then also at the same time, you know, is is making sure we keep everybody that's not supposed to get into it, can't get into it. Um, but I think that's a big deal for us too. And our, our, we call it player resources, like our directors of player resources. Um, we have two people, you know, Tars and uh, Coach McConnell that do an excellent job. And, you know, I think this is something that they're very, very proud of. Look, I mean, first of all, just, these bands allow it to be a little bit more climate control because I mean, you know, like when you got shoulder pads and you break them out and you've got them in a, uh, a basement or you got them in an area that stays moist, I mean, they're going to have mold in them. Well, I mean, we live in a day and time like that. That's, we can't have that. You know, we can't have mold inside our helmets. Um, you know, we can't have apparel that, you know, now all of a sudden it's got mold on it. And so I think those things like having to preserve it, I think these space savers allow us a chance to whereas if you're normally swapping out uniforms or, or, or buying new uniforms every three years, now you're able to add another year to it, maybe two years to it, maybe you just do fill-ins. So I think the money on the front end, um, I mean, doesn't equate to the money on the back end that you're saving just because uh, helmets are expensive, you know? Uniforms are expensive. Everything in this room is expensive. And so how we take care of it is how long it's going to last us. And this system has allowed us to be able to have a lot of things that we've got and they'll be able to use them for quite a long time. I think systems can be built ever what you need. You know, we're a 6A school, you know, and if, if you're a smaller school, maybe you don't need as big. But, you know, I think the greatest thing about it is, is if you don't have it, you need to get it because it's going to save you a lot on the back end because 
you know, the like we just said, the amount of, you know, uniforms, you know, that some people now have three or four uniforms. Well, I mean, the last thing you want is mold. The last thing you want is water damage. The last thing you want is for something to dry right. And so, you know, whether it be that or helmets or, you know, keep it up with shoes, you know, and, you know, now you're forecasting so many things early so they come in early. Like, where are you putting them at? Well, I mean, there's times where if you don't have them locked up safe and have them in an organized spot, I mean, they're either going to get gone or something's going to happen to them. And so I think it's if you're building a facility or you're looking to redo your equipment room, um, then this is the way to go. And if I didn't think so, I wouldn't tell you that. All right. Because I've been coaching for 25 years. And so, um, but, I spend a lot of time in this room because, you know, we order stuff. I want to know, you know, because I want to make sure our kids are taken care of.